In June of this year, more than 32 million Twitter passwords were hacked. Then, just two months later, Dropbox reported that a hack in 2012 had leaked more than 60 million usernames. These cyber crimes are costing consumers and companies almost 445 billion dollars a year and putting our privacy and personal information at serious risk. Well, here to talk about what we can do to protect ourselves is Megan Smolders from TrueKey, a multi-factor password app, an Intel security product. Good morning. Hi. All right, so let's talk about this real quick because when I think of threats, I think of viruses and the computers. You know, you hear about that, but today it's much more than that, much more serious. Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, we're our own worst enemy when it comes to being safe online. Why? Using the same password on multiple accounts, writing them down in obvious places, using the same one across all of them. I mean, if one of them is ever exposed, you have a great impact of even more. But the problem is there's so many accounts to have, you know, you got the school accounts for the children, you got the bank account. I mean, the list goes on and on. Yep. Everything wants mm -hmm. a password. You can't have the same one. You're going yeah. crazy. So, <laughs> I mean, I kind of have them written down. Some of them are silly. I'm not going to tell you them. Okay, please but don't. What, <laughs> what are some of the most commonly used passwords? So believe it or not, in 2015, password. Password was one, one two, of the three. most. Yep, uh, A, B, C, D. Uh, trending movies, Star Wars was a fairly big one also. Um, people are really getting into the creative. And we can't <laughs> do that because people then can figure them out. Exactly. So easily. Very easily. Okay, so what, what do we do? I mean, you have so many things, you have so many accounts, you need to make up with the passwords. What's your advice? So have you heard of a passphrase before? No. Okay. So a passphrase is taking multiple words, random words, and putting them together into a sentence that typically you'd be able to remember. That's still the key part. Um, so things like cow, purple, grass, tall. You know, maybe this is a story <laughs> of something that happened that I can remember easily, but that's a much stronger password than using something as simple as my dog's name. Okay, well, let's try something else. Okay, that yes. sounds complicated yeah, to okay. me. An easier solution, one that's actually highly recommended, is a password manager. So it's an application that you can download and it remembers your passwords for you and fills them in. All right, so fill me in more on that because now there's an app for everything. How does this ha app help me remember the password and make me feel safe? Well, how about I tell you about TrueKey? TrueKey. Yeah, so TrueKey is a password manager that's able to recognize things that are unique about you. Things like your face, your fingerprint. And what it does is from there, it secures all your passwords, it remembers them, and then it fills them into your websites so you don't ever have to remember a password again. So they, that will do it for me and I'm supposed to feel safe about that? Yes, so here I'll tell you how it works. What happens is you download TrueKey on your computer, your phone, or your tablet, and from there, in the background, it works quietly to remember your passwords. If you're going to a website to sign up, it's actually gonna create a unique, strong password for you. And so it stores up, so then the next time you go to that website, it's gonna fill it in. And I'm sure you're thinking, again, all your passwords in one spot. Right. You wanna Don't make feel... sure that's safe. Exactly. So that's what's unique about TrueKey, is with multi-factor authentication, it's able to identify multiple unique things things about you. And the more factors you have, the more secure you become. Show me how it works. Definitely. So here I've got my phone. I've got TrueKey installed. Mm -hmm. It's got a few passwords there saved. So then the next time that I want to actually go and log in, I've actually set this is my trusted device and I'm going to use my fingerprint. It's verified the two things and it's logged me in. Now let's say I want to do something different. We can actually set up here your face onto this computer so you can log in and see how it works. So I'm going to set up here. So this is also a trusted device, it's Olga's computer, and here it's asking for the facial recognition. So here you can lean in, pull a little James Bond. Oh my It gosh. recognizes you. And it gets me right in. Yeah. And I don't even have to remember a password. No, it not again. It just recognizes, how does it do that? So it doesn't take a picture of you. What it does is a mathematical calculation of your face. So it's measuring the distance between your eyes, your nose, your mouth, and then when you go to look, it does a verification to make sure that they're the same, and it logs you in. And then it logs me into everything that matters to me. Exactly, so then from there, you can go to any one of your websites stored within the application. It takes you to the website, it fills it in, and you don't have to type a password ever again. I feel like James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> what about if I'm in a hotel and I don't have the computer with the camera. Great example. So TrueKey, as I mentioned, has multiple factors. So you have up to six that you can use. So let's say the computer doesn't have a camera. You go to log in, you can use a different factor. Maybe you can send a device to your uh, notification to your phone. You swipe and it'll unlock for you. 
And Megan, I just read uh, recently that the White House started an initiative called Lock Down Your Login. Yeah, so actually the president wrote a piece in the Wall Street Journal talking about the importance of strong authentication and making sure that people don't just rely on passwords. A password is not enough. And so we're really excited. We're participating in this as a multi-factor strong authentication app that makes it a lot easier for you to be online as well as incredibly safe. Hence the name TrueKey. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> for our viewers out there who'd like more information, where can they go, Megan? Uh, they can go to TrueKey.com, but I definitely think you should try this um, face login just one, one more time. time. Yeah. <laughs> well, while she's doing it, for more information, again, what is it? TrueKey.com. TrueKey.com. You can also go to our website, and that's thebalancingact.com. I gotta see if this works again. <laughs> oh, there we go.